everyone welcome back to my channel so today i have an interesting video for you guys because this video is all about drugstore setting sprays yes you heard me drugstore setting sprays when i think about a good setting spray normally i'm like urban decay all nighter or urban decay chill makeup setting spray and i am glad that the drugstore has come out with some setting sprays because I am tired of paying a load of money just to set my face, basically. So today I have three makeup setting sprays. I've been testing them out for a while and I am here to tell you about them. So let's get started. The first one is the one that I've had for the longest amount of time and what I'm talking about is Pixie by Petra makeup fixing mist with rose water and green tea. green tea girl learn how to speak <sighs> with rose water and green tea so what this says is that it's an all-over setting mist prolongs makeup wear and keeps it from moving melting or setting into fine lines or pores comforts protects increases hydration and balances skin for a fresh face so you can use it I've used it multiple times, as you can see, I quite like it, um, but I've used it multiple times for different things. Sometimes I like to use it for like prepping my skin before makeup. Um, I've also used it after I applied a ton of powder, like just let it melt into my skin. But my favorite way is to um, set my, like when I'm done to set my face, because as this says, this is hydrating, and it totally is. like. It totally is hydrating when I put it on. It doesn't feel like the normal setting sprays that are like, they leave your face feeling a bit crunchy, like, you know, like dry. No, this doesn't do that at all, and it smells great. It smells great. It smells like roses, basically. The only bad thing I would have to say about this product is that, I don't know what you call this, like the nozzle, the spray thing, it like shoots out. It doesn't like shoot out evenly and like openly into your face. It's like squirts and it gets in my eye loads of the time and it doesn't like take up my whole face. So if I do this, it's not gonna take up my whole face. It's just gonna go in one direction. Basically, it's great. This is a bit pricier. This is like $15. So, I mean, it's a bit up there with like the prices, like the drugstore prices, but Honestly, it's great. Um, you can buy it at Target or online, I think. And if you're debating about getting this, you should totally get it because it's an incredible product. So the next two that I'm going to talk about are recent purchases and they're like the newest thing at the drugstore right now. The first one's this Wet n Wild Photo Focus. Okay, that's in French. <laughs> Is a Wet n Wild Photo Focus Setting Spray, which you can see right here is this tiny baby. And it's it contains 1.52 fluid ounces, so it does contain quite a bit of product. And this is incredible. It costs $4.99 and I am obsessed with it. It sprays very well, like fine mist. Doesn't really smell that great. But you know what? This gets it done. It sets my face, it locks everything in place. It doesn't leave my face feeling hydrated like the other one, but it obviously doesn't claim that it's going to leave it hydrated. Um, but this does set my makeup really well. I feel like my makeup... I feel like my makeup's going to be like, stay... My makeup's going to be like, stay? Wow. So, I feel like my makeup's going to stay on my face all day. And, I mean, it, I can't feel it on my face after I apply it. So I guess that's great. This is super cheap. Wet n Wild is an amazing brand. They have quite a bit of things and a lot of them are great. If you see this at your local drugstore, buy it. I mean, it's it's really good. It prolongs the wear of your makeup and it makes your face look fab. Now moving on to the last one. It's this baby right here. L'Oreal Infallible spray and set makeup setting makeup extender setting spray this is a sample size or like a travel size whatever you want to call this so yeah my thoughts on this one this thing 
smells disgusting. I don't know what is in here, but it smells really bad. If you are sensitive to scents, do not buy this because it stinks. Like, it, it literally stinks. Overall, I think it's a good setting spray. I don't think it's the best you can find at the drugstore, but it's good. So if you want to try it, you know, branch out, buy new things, you could totally get this one because it does set your makeup. And I am not sure if it prolongs the wear of my makeup, but it does set everything and it makes it makes your face look nice and makes all the powders melt into your skin and it makes you look like you're naturally snatched. But yeah, it's just not the best. The smell is really bad and after I apply this, I do notice that my skin feels a bit like dry and crunchy, so I mean, that doesn't really bother me. If it bothers you, then maybe this isn't the one for you, but I mean, honestly, it's good. It's not the best. You can buy better for cheaper, but it's good. If you want to try it, you can totally try it. It's just, I mean, I cannot get over the smell of this. So yeah, you guys, that is it for this video, which was about the setting sprays, as you already noticed, because you already saw the video. Um, so yeah, make sure to let me know if you've tried any other makeup setting spray situations from the drugstore or that are cheap, and just let me know how good they are or how bad they are or like your experience with them, you know what I'm saying? And yeah, if you like this video, and if you like me, make sure to give this a thumbs up because it would totally help me. Um, yeah, it would help me out a lot. And also, if you like my videos and you've watched previous videos and you like them, make sure to subscribe. Like, what are, what are, what are you waiting for? Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye. Bye-bye.